take a bearing, put nice machine washers on each side, put a layer of grease, seal it in that way, put it in an arbor, and you can grind snap ring grease in any bearing you want, just as long as you're careful um, with cutoff wheels. Now, cutoff wheels are really handy. Um, if uh, the guy I know that uh, grinds small end mills uh, prefers to use cutoff wheels because they have less contact. When you have trouble on these machines, the machine weighs over 2,000 pounds, so you can do things on it, but lightly, right? Okay. Okay, I got a minute here. Now, what I have um, here is an old Enco Travidile gizmo. And it's made by a company called HMH in Sweden. And the old number, Enco number, is 205-5000. And it's called a Length Travel Indicator. And uh, I highly recommend it. It's got one moving part. It's, it's got a roller here. And you can set it to zero just by turning up the, the roller slips. Yeah, one rotation is four inches, and it's got a veneer here on both sides that reads in one thousandths, and it's quite accurate. And it's big enough, I can read it. Okay, what I got going there? I'm going to dump everything off. Well, let's see, what else can I show you? Well, you know... You can actually do a little bit of manual grinding on it, and I do. And what I do is I, I got it in my hand here. I take the vise that you've seen before, and I put this piece of steel in it, in the work head, and then I can rotate it at any angle, you know, basically, within reason, and hand grind tools, or, or small things that I need to do by hand. Okay, we got to go. Bye-bye. Well, I'll set this down, and it's going to go. Well, that's about it, I think. We'll try it. Thanks for looking.